Hi everyone, this video is my version of the story of the hare who lost his spectacles. This is a song, you could call it a spoken word song, a folky kind of song. It's something completely original, so it's hard to put in a genre that comes from all the way back in 1973 and it was by a band called Jethro Tull and it's childlike, it's imaginative, it's fun, it's funny, it's very witty, it's very clever, there's a lot of wordplay in it and I loved it so much I wanted to do my own version. My own version is not a 100% mimic of the original. Number one, I can't do that because I don't have the music and number two, I don't really see the point in copying something 100% without putting a bit of yourself into it. So I tried to put a bit of myself into this version. What else is there to say about it? Um, yeah, it's in a northern accent, although more correctly you could say it's a theatrical voice acting kind of northern accent because it's very exaggerated and it's not consistent. It switches between different northern dialects. I had a lot of fun recording this and I hope you enjoy it too. You can watch it now. Owl loved to rest quietly whilst no one was watching. Sitting on a fence one day, he was surprised when suddenly a kangaroo ran close by. Now, this may not seem strange, but when Owl overheard kangaroo whisper to no one in particular, the hare has lost his spectacles. Well, he began to wonder. Presently, the moon appeared from behind a cloud, and there, lying on the grass, was her. In the stream that flowed by the grass, a newt. and sitting astride a twig of a bush, a bee. Ostensibly motionless, the hare was trembling with excitement, for without his spectacles, he appeared completely helpless. Where were his spectacles? Could someone have stolen them? Had he mislaid them? What was he to do? B wanted to help and thinking he had the answer began, You probably ate them thinking they were a carrot. No, interrupted Owl, who was wise. I have good eyesight, insight and foresight. How could an intelligent her make such a silly mistake? But all this time, Owl had been sitting on the fence, scowling. A kangaroo were upping mad at this sort of talk. She thought herself far superior in intelligence to the others. She was their leader, their guru. She had the answer. Her, you must go in search of the optician. But then she realised that her were completely helpless without his spectacles. And so a kangaroo loudly proclaimed, I can't send her in search of anything. You can, Guru, you can, shouted Newt. You can send him with Owl. But Owl had gone to sleep. Newt knew too much to be stopped by so small a problem. You can take him in your pouch. But alas, her was much too big to fit into Kangaroo's pouch. All this time, it had been quite plain to her that the others knew nothing about spectacles. And as for all their tempting ideas, well, her didn't care. The lost spectacles were his own affair. And after all, her 
did have a spare, a pair. Thank you for watching my version of the story of the hare who lost his spectacles. I hope you love it as much as I do. I had great fun recording that and it was, I keep talking in the northern, I keep talking in the northern accent now. I can't help it. I enjoyed it so much. I think I might be a northerner from now on. Um, what else did I say? Yeah, I suggest that you go and watch the original because it's so fantastic. The link's in the description, the original song. And also, if you have any suggestions of things you'd like me to voice record or perform a speech in future videos, let me know in the comments section. And if I like them, I will do them in future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.